boys and girls. Our story today is called God Gave Us Easter. I love Easter, little cub said. Me too, Papa Bear said. It's even better than Christmas. Better than Christmas? Why? Because on Christmas, we celebrate Jesus' birthday. But on Easter, we remember we get to be with him forever. Forever? Forever. That's why God gave us Easter. I like the Easter Bunny, cried Little Cub's sister. And candy, added Little Cub's little brother. The Easter Bunny is like Santa, Papa Bear said. He reminds us of gifts and happy surprises in the morning. But God is the one who gave us Easter. Easter is a part of a bigger story he had in mind for a long, long time. How did God give us Easter, Papa? See this egg, Papa Bear said. It's a symbol helping us remember just like the shell cracks open and a chick comes out, we remember that Jesus was in a tomb, but he didn't stay dead. He didn't? No, even death couldn't trap God's son. He is life itself. And God loved us so much, he wanted us to be with him always. We can see signs of his Easter plan all around us. Little Cub and Papa went on a hike. They found a big tree that had fallen over in a storm. God told his people that Jesus would come from one family, the root of Jesse, he was called. Jesse and his wife had children, and they had children, and they had children. And one of them was Jesus? Yes, Little Cub, all along, God knew he would give us Easter. It's sad this big old tree fell down and died, little cub said. Yes, Papa said, but when it did, it made room for new little trees to grow. See how the sun shines now without those big branches to block it? And how all the pine cones fell across the forest floor. Those pine cones will spread their seeds and baby trees will grow like this one. Out of death comes life. That's how God wants us to see Easter. I still don't like dying. Neither do I. We were born to love life. God loves life. But sometimes we have to let go of one thing so we can move on to another. For instance, think about this river. Where do rivers go, little cub? To the ocean. Little cub love the ocean. Yes, the river ends, but it spreads into something even bigger. Heaven is like the ocean for us. Because God gave us Easter, we can be part of something bigger. And even though we talk to Jesus now, in heaven, we will see Jesus face to face. Couldn't Jesus have just waited for us in heaven? A long time ago, God's children wouldn't listen to him. They didn't even believe in him anymore. It made God very sad and angry, so he sent a huge flood to start anew with Noah and his family. In that ark with polar bears? And giraffes and monkeys and turtles! And when the flood was done, God promised never to send another one. Phew! Little Cub said with relief. That's good. Little Cub liked water but she liked land too. It is good. After the flood, 
God gave us a rainbow as a sign of his promise. But when his children, who said they'd follow him, were disobedient again, he had to find a way to keep us connected once and for all. God wants nothing more than to be close to us, his children. So Jesus keeps the promise we broke, little cub, and because of him, God forgives us when we make bad mistakes, bad choices. All of us, everyone who believes in him, that's how God gave us Easter. Do you talk to Jesus, Papa? Every day, Papa Bear said, all day. Does he talk back? In a way, it's like he whispers in my heart. In your heart? I thought we listened with our ears. We do, but to hear Jesus, it takes a special kind of listening. Little Cub was silent for the rest of the walk home. She was trying to listen with her heart. She listened and listened and listened. That night, as Mama, Papa and Mama tucked her into bed, she was still listening. And as her parents kissed her and hugged her, she turned over and remembered she was God's child too. In that moment, she felt comfy and cozy and cared for, almost as if Jesus had whispered, I love you in her heart. I love you too, Jesus, little cub whispered. Thanks for giving us Easter. Hi, boys and girls. Look, what did I find over here? Did you get some Easter eggs in your basket this year from the Easter Bunny? What do you think's inside? Let's find out. I have some jelly beans. Did you get jelly beans? Do you know that you can say a prayer with all the different colors of the jelly beans? Well, it's kind of a poem, but it's a prayer too. And I will go through and I'll show it to you. And if you want, you can print it off or mom or dad can print it off. This is Fresh Hour's email. Red is for the blood he gave. Green is for the grass he made. Yellow is for the sun so bright. Orange is for the edge of night. Black is for the sins we made. White is for the grace he gave. Purple is for his hour of sorrow. And pink is for the new tomorrow. There you go, boys and girls. That's the jelly bean prayer.